But our big story this Saturday night at 6, the latest on the deadly mass shooting at the Walmart store in Chesapeake. Just in the past couple of hours, the city told 10 on your side that the FBI and Chesapeake police have wrapped up the crime scene investigation at the store just off of Battlefield Boulevard. It comes as Chesapeake's mayor is talking about a difficult week for the city. And a pair of memorials are lined up in the next couple of days for the six people killed in Tuesday's horrific shooting. 10 on your side's Brett Hall is live now in Chesapeake with more. Brett? Michelle, for the first time since Tuesday night, since gunfire rang inside the Walmart Superstore off Sam's Circle, Battlefield Parkway, there are no police or law enforcement, FBI, Chesapeake Police, in this parking lot, clearing out earlier this afternoon, creating an eerie scene. In the meantime, you can see right behind me, more people continue to come to memorials that have been set up, more balloons, flowers arriving. And Chesapeake's mayor says he believes he is just now starting to come to grips on how the city can move forward. Now, the mayor, you haven't really seen him. We actually had the first on-camera interview with him since the tragedy today. He's been battling COVID-19, testing positive just the day before the shooting took place. He says that the number one call he's received since that time are people asking, how can they help? How can they help the families, the Walmart associates, maybe even the customers that had to witness this? West says the human resources or the human services department in the city rather has been assigned to reach out to the families of the victims to find out what they can use, what they need right now. Then with the help of local churches, that information will be pushed out to the community. Honestly, Brett, some of them right now just in such shock that they can't even assess their own needs. So it's going to take time and it's going to take, you know, persistence and uh, a lot of understanding. This uh, vigil, I'm telling you, is a powerful way of making a statement. So I hope we can get a, uh, a lot of folks will come out and, uh, and show their prayers and support for these families. Again, the vigil that is being sponsored by the city set for six o'clock at Chesapeake City Park on Monday. Now, when it comes to the store, you may see the time the crime tape is still up. Well, we're understanding that that was a request by Walmart because they want to secure the store. There's there was merchandise still left out. Some of the Christmas uh, items and carts still all over the place. This was left how it was when the shooting began and there's no timetable for reopening. A spokesperson from Walmart saying, quote, we will work very closely with our associates and rely on their input to determine the best time to reopen this store. We're live in Chesapeake tonight. Brett Hall, 10 on your side. Brett, thank you. Those two memorials begin tomorrow night at 6 at the Mount Lebanon Baptist Church on Las Gavialtas Boulevard. The second Monday night at 6 at Chesapeake City Park. Both events are open to the public. And a reminder to keep it with Wavy News 10 and Wavy.com for continuing coverage of the deadly mass shooting in Chesapeake.